Wonderful. Welcome back to East Texas Live. And right now we have joining us the SBCA of East Texas. And this little guy, Lucky Man. Now, how did he get his name, Lucky Man? Well, Lucky Man is uh, one of seven cats owned by a, a lady here in Tyler. And um, regretfully, she is she's fighting an illness. So she's contacted us for assistance in rehoming her seven cats. And he is the second of the seven. We've already gotten the first one rehomed. He's a little nervous today. Oh, this is hard. Oh. This is hard. Um, <laughs> he's very sweet, but the cameras are kind of freaking him out a little bit. Um, it, it freaks me out too. So he's, it's okay. Uh, he's three years old, completely housebroken, litter box trained, healthy boy, very affectionate. He does not like television cameras. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you guys work a lot in the community um, with rescuing animals, especially when people have so many of them. Correct. Um, talk to me about that, about rehoming and, and stuff that you guys do. You can always call on us. We actually do have a waiting list and um, Kat is, is the rehoming coordinator, so she's the one that, that's on the front lines and holding those calls and trying to get to them as quickly as possible and we have four or five litters of puppies needing to come in right now. Um, it's just a never-ending stream, but we encourage people to call us, and if they can work with us to make this happen, it, it's it's usually not an immediate thing, but we, we do all we can. Yeah. So, And we encourage people to reach out, reach out to other rescue groups. We have some great groups in town, but we are trying to establish now a long-term sanctuary plan for community members who need to make sure when, when and if something happened, they have place for their animals. So yeah. that'll be something we'll be talking about more in the months to come. Great. And I know it's been getting colder out, outside and we've yes. been monitoring how cold it gets. Yes. How does that incorporate with animals being outside? It's so important. Um, obviously, they're down low. They're on the cold ground. We encourage you to bring your pets in if at all possible when it's inclement, either extreme hot or cold. Water and food. Water keeps them cool in the summer, food keeps them warm in the winter. So their stomachs, are, if they're digesting food, they're they're working to stay warm. And so we want to be sure, you, you know, we encourage people to feed maybe even twice a day, smaller amounts, breakfast and dinner. Um, give them a blanket, definitely need to be out of the of the rain or the wet. Um, it's, a, it's a law, it's required, so please make arrangements for your animals to get in into a place of, of shelter with some warm bedding if at all possible. Now I know Lucky man and his kind of background is he going to be up for adoption anytime soon he is okay. he is available for adoption he came from a quiet senior citizens home but with other animals and he's very social and affectionate <laughs> um, like I said he's uh, he's gonna adapt well into a family he just doesn't like television yeah. cameras. <laughs> so if you don't have a television camera at your home yeah. lucky man yeah. would be a great addition running around in headsets then <laughs> you're good <laughs> exactly well thank y'all so much for joining us Absolutely. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for and having us. Thank you. And Lucky Man, you have a good day too, okay? All right. <laughs> you might not like me. <laughs> it's okay. But